welcome to Learning Mold. Today we are thinking about learning with Play-Doh and how we can use Play-Doh as an educational resource. And um, We're going to talk a little bit about numeracy and number recognition um, and matching numbers in this video. So um, Play-Doh is a really, really good resource for numeracy. Um, it adds that tactile sensory element in, but it really um, gives children a visual and practical way of working with maths and numbers. So here I've got a little domino. Um, I've got this from a little kit, but you can make your own very easily by just drawing them on a piece of paper. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to ask um, James to use Play-Doh to visually represent these numbers. So it's really about counting. Um, this video is really about counting and matching. So James, can you match my dots? Can you make me some dots out of Play-Doh? So on your blue square, how many dots do you need? How many dots are on there? How many dots are on there? One. One. So how many have you got? One. One. So as you can see, he's matched his number one there. Right, how many dots do you need for the other one? How many do you need? Two. Two. Okay. Can you match them? Oh, lovely. Excellent. Okay, so you can see um, he's got that visual representation of numeracy or of counting. He's really thinking about um, matching those and he's using that one-to-one -one correspondence, which is great. Once your child has developed that skill, you might want to move on to some number recognition. So again, I have a little printed card here with a number on it, um, but easily done. You can just write it for yourself. So James, I'm going to show you. So I'm talking about number recognition in this um, instance. So James, I'm going to ask you to make me that number with your Play-Doh. So you can make balls, you can make whatever you want. Okay. All right. So I'm showing him this and I'm asking him to make me that visually. Right, do you want to count as you're going along? So what have you made me? Four. Count for me. One, two, three, four. So again, having that one-to-one -one correspondence where he's actually pointing as he counts to really make sure that they're actually developing that skill. Um, recognizing that this is actually the number four and being able to represent it visually and again just a fun way of using play-doh and um, it's very quick and easy and doesn't take a lot of resources to actually um, create a little fun game